I actually wasn't too excited when I found out that Anthony had left these for me to, you know, have a go out and finish, but how good do they look? Remember, they were stumps, tree stumps with all of the bark and all of the junk on it, and we have stripped them back to this beautiful blonde. Oh, it's so cool, I'm so excited. Even more so, the fact that we have a knot. Now, the reason why I've blacked, well, you actually put blue tape over the knot there is because I want to keep that as raw. I think it's a really big feature in this. And I think with the tops, we'll just give them a light wax just because the grain is so beautiful and they really don't need much more than that. So all I'm really going to do with these is I'm going to give them a paint and then they will end up finding a home, hopefully, in our living room. First thing, though, of course, stir your paint. Even though there might only be a half a tin or a quarter of a tin or three quarters of a tin, always stir it. All the good stuff sitting at the bottom. Cool, that's looking really good now. What's brilliant about using this paint is this is the particular paint paper stock, which is the predominant colour that's been used in the living room. So I know that this is going to work. It's going to match and all fit in really well. One of the really cool things about working with a piece like this is actually when you're up close and you're painting it, you get to see all the natural detail. And these cracks that go through here, like veins, they're incredible. I don't want to fill them up with paint. I want to be able to see the crack so that it looks nice and deep and natural. And something else that's really interesting to think about too before you start painting something like this is actually designating where they're going to go before you paint it. Reason being, I know that these are going to be inside. They're going to go in the living room where it's safe. They're not going to be, you know, out in the elements and exposed to rain or heat or any of those changing conditions. So I can just use the low sheen interior paint and it's done and it looks great. Now, if I was to actually want to put them outside, imagine that. Well, I'd actually have to use an outdoor paint. So basically, if you're going to use them inside, interior paint for these is perfect. Outside, exterior paint. Okay, so we have now done a thorough one coat. So I'm going to let that dry it, but with these pieces that I'm actually going to leave raw and unpainted, like this little front knob bit here, I'm going to just... I'll take the tape off, actually, so you can see what I mean. That. I don't even really need to sand it. You can sand it around the edges just so you get that really clean finish, but I'm just going to use a really nice beeswax because beeswax just brings out the grain in the wood and it seals it, and wood absolutely loves beeswax. Make sure you don't use too much so it goes in the cracks. Just in a fairly easy fashion on the top because the hard work actually comes when you have to buff it back. It's just getting in there to give that timber a drink and to seal it. And once the beeswax is on this and buffed, these are going to be ready to go on the house. And they look absolutely sensational. You see these in a lot of magazines. Everybody loves these gorgeous tree stumps at the moment. One thing that I love about doing the DIY is you're doing it yourself. You can look at it and know that it's your work. And you can do it too.